Thank you. That's uh, that's uh, no, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before I get started, uh, it's a pleasure to uh, share the podium with uh, Mayor Ivan Court from St. John. We uh, run into each other in different parts of the country as a result of board memberships, and it's always good to see him here. And uh, Chief, uh, just wanted to tell you that uh, on behalf of all the Canadian police here, we uh, we shared and share the pain that uh, Washington uh, State uh, suffered uh, when, with all the loss of officers over the last few years. I know many of us in this room uh, attended various of the funerals, and uh, they were tragic. Uh, it, it, I think we all realize that uh, law enforcement uh, knows no boundaries, and uh, so it was. Uh, we felt the pain as much as I'm sure uh, folks in Washington did. So, thank you for being here. Also, um, on a lighter note, I am the last speaker, and uh, I have to tell you. Uh, a colleague in the OPP uh, told me a story one time, which I have to share with you about, uh, that, that sort of resonates when you're the last speaker. And it's about a young OPP constable. He um, was doing a uh, presentation, had to do a presentation on community policing uh, in a far-flung uh, community at the Legion. And it took about an hour to get to this uh, community from his detachment. So uh, as it turned out, it was a terrible winter, uh, winter night stormy, uh, a lot of snow, and so forth, but the good OPP constable struggled forward. I don't know if Chris Lewis is still in the room. He probably knows the story, but anyway. Uh, constable uh, goes through the uh, storm. Uh, he makes it to this little community. He goes into the Legion and uh, goes up to the bartender, and he says, uh, Hi, uh, Constable so-and-so, I'm here to do this lecture on community policing. Uh, where, where, where do I go? Where's the room? And the fellow from the Legion, the bartender, said, oh, Sorry, you know, with this storm... Uh, we don't have much of an attendance here, uh, Constable, and uh, there's only one person in there. So uh, the Constable uh, went into the room, and there's one farmer sitting in a chair. And uh, he goes up to the farmer, and he says, look, I'm really sorry about this. Uh, thanks for coming out. I guess I'll uh, you know, plan to come back uh, some other time when the weather's a little better. So a farmer turned to him, and he said, uh, well, you know, Constable, uh, if I was going out in the, the field uh, to feed my cattle and I only found one cow, I don't think I'd leave without feeding it. So uh, Constable thought about that for a minute and he says, gotcha. So he set up his PowerPoint, got up on the stage and he gave his presentation and he went on for about an hour, did the whole thing. He thought, no, it'd be a good test run, you know. So after it was all finished, uh, wrapped it up, went over to the farmer uh, who had been patiently watching it and he said, uh, well, what'd you think of that? Farmer said, well, you know, uh, if I was going out in the field to feed my cattle and there was only one cow there, 